Welcome to WebStyle Press. This video answers two questions. How to check website responsiveness for free and what mistake web developers make when they select tool to check website responsiveness. As of May 2021, Google Chrome has 64% user share. Second being Safari, that is 18%. Firefox is after Edge web browser. As web developers, we can understand this pattern and user's choice. It is understandable that why most people use Google Chrome, why Safari is the second best in the list, and then there are people who just use Microsoft Edge. Google Chrome is lightweight, fast, and easy to use, so it makes sense for most people to just use it, even for web developers. There are many web responsiveness testing tools available online, but we are not getting into those here. Question is, as a web developer, how can you check website responsiveness for free? For those who are just starting web development, built-in device toggle toolbar or developer's tools in Google Chrome are easy way to check website responsiveness. Here is how. This is Google Chrome and right click at the page or at any element and select inspect from right click menu options and it will bring up developer tools. You can change position for this panel. Click at these three dots, click at this icon to make it go right and click at this icon to dock at the bottom, wherever you feel comfortable. And then look at this icon, toggle device toolbar, click it and now you can check website responsiveness. As you increase or decrease size of this window, you can check it indicates width and height of page in this panel. You can give it manual width and height as well. Like 1024, enter and window will adjust that size. In this way, you can check website responsiveness in a free style as you can increase or decrease size of the window. But there are more options as well. You see this option responsive, under that you can find more options for more devices. For example, I can select iPhone 6, 7, 8 and window will adjust its size according to iPhone 6, 7, 8. And I can see exact size from here, it says 375 pixels in width and 667 in height. I can also rotate device or toggle landscape or portrait mode. When you have selected a device from here, you cannot increase or decrease the size of the page. To do that, you'll have to go back here and select responsive again. And now you can decrease or increase size and change window size manually. There is also iPad and if you don't see your preferred device here, you can add mobile devices by clicking at edit. And here you can see there are a lot more devices. You can select devices and add devices to that tool. And when you are done testing responsiveness, you can click this icon again to close responsive testing tool. And now website windows is back to normal. So from Google Chrome, it is as easy as that to check website responsiveness. There are mobile devices, there are tablets, you can check website responsiveness manually by increasing and decreasing windows width and height. There are so many options. But as a web developer, after you create website, apply responsiveness and go to your manager or share project with quality assurance team, you will experience this often. 
they always find a way to point out responsive issues in website that is because they don't check responsiveness in google chrome or mozilla firefox web browser mozilla firefox has got similar website responsiveness testing tool that you see in google chrome so your manager or people in your quality assurance team may check website responsiveness either on edge or on safari most managers or ceos use apple macbook qas check responsiveness on edge or safari well most qa team members has got tablets and mobile devices as well edge or safari will most likely show you responsiveness issues that you may have missed good thing is microsoft edge or safari web browsers are available for microsoft windows as well even if you are using microsoft windows you can download microsoft edge web browser or safari for microsoft windows and test website responsiveness on those web browsers as well so make sure you do that this was google chrome and this is microsoft edge web browser and our website is looking fine for this web browser as well and if we check responsiveness we will do similar thing here again right click from right click menu options click inspect and we have got similar tools here as well and you can adjust this panel like we do in google chrome move it right or move it to bottom whatever is comfortable with you and then we have this icon toggle device emulation this is exactly same tool that we have in google chrome increase width and height for this window to check website responsiveness manually or you can select device from here ipad 100% view rotate device iphone rotate device we have similar tool in edge as well then we have got safari for windows as you can see website that is looking fine on google chrome and edge has some issues on safari and safari on macbook may show you even more issues because behavior for safari on macbook and windows is slightly different so even a website looks good for google chrome or edge it may not look good on safari and you can right click at the page and select or click at inspect element and you will find developers panel here for safari on microsoft windows i can't see device toggle option here but we have show menu bar option here and under develop menu we have got few options and if you are using macbook and you are using safari on macbook then you will find responsive design mode tool here by using that responsive design mode tool you will be able to test website responsiveness for different devices at windows you can restore this window and increase or decrease its width and height to test website responsiveness manually let me close this panel right click inspect element and if you are unable to see this option in right click menu inspect element option you will have to click at the settings icon go to preferences 
go to advanced tab and check this option that says show develop menu in menu bar so we have got tools to check responsiveness for different web browsers it is highly recommended that you get tablet android and ios phones to check responsiveness properly but if you don't you have got tools built into web browsers but edge and safari may show you issues that you won't be able to see in google chrome and mozilla firefox to avoid responsive issues being reported again and again make sure you check responsiveness yourself in safari and edge as well this will save you a lot of headache remember check website responsiveness on edge and safari as well before you mark your project as ready for qa all right like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video